four or five chapters. So we know that we cannot control this total revenue. One method is totally flopped. The other method we cannot control. Why? Because we cannot control the stuff quantity sold. If we want to sell more, right, then we need to act like we need to decrease the price. Or what if we want to sell more, there is no demand over there, even then quant price is low, the customers, they don't want to buy. It means this is out of our hand. It depends on, not in our hand, in customer's hand. So we can, but not sure. The other thing that increases the profit, what if we decrease our total cost? So do we have the control of cost? Can we control our cost? Answer is yes. Can customer control our cost? Answer is no, right? If you want to produce more, you have to increase the cost, right? It's upon you. If you find the cheaper resources, you can replace that one, right? So it means we can control the cost, but can we, in order to increase this gap, can we make, can we control like this? Can we make this our total cost to zero? Answer is, So that thing which is in our hand is total cost, which we can influence, but cannot make zero. As a businessman, I hate total cost. Why? Because it shrinks my profit. It decreases my profit. So we know that we cannot control 100% of the total revenue stuff. Why? Because the total revenue depends on law of demand who are going to buy from us customers and customer create demand. So as a supplier, if I want to make sure that my, I want to increase my profit, then I need to more focus on my total cost. So that's why we are, we will be studying our chapters to maximize our profit or or, or, or to minimize our cost based on solely total cost concept. So everybody understand this concept, why I am focusing on total cost? Yeah. Marilyn? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Pinho, Rodrigo, Miriam? Yeah. yeah. Paulo? Yes. Good, yes, good. Yes, yes. Good. Okay, now let's move on. Okay, now answer this question. Let me. Now, this is a challenging part. If it doesn't work, then I won't be using this technology again. I hope it works fine. So, you have the link, right? Is it the same link? Yes, same link, but let me first start the link and then we can. Okay, I'm going to start this one. Here we go. Wait a second. Mm -hmm. I hope that this will work fine. Let me just see that. Okay, start now. Please. Go to that link. And do you see the Zila Corporation produced 300 units? Yes, yes, I can see. Okay, please everyone answer this question and I'm 
going to have a live uh, could someone send me the link i don't have it yeah please yeah, upload on, on wechat okay any one of you send the link over there so link going to be the same i sent to the chat box too if you want thank you welcome please share it on our on on our wechat group as well Thank you. Thank you David. No worries. So let me read the question. Dila corporation produces 300 units of output but sold only 275 of the units it produced. The average cost of the production for each unit of output produced was 100 Each of forty-five units sold were sold for a price of ninety-five. Total profit from the Zilla Corporation would be okay. I'm getting one. Oh, I just answered by the wrong name. What? Like I didn't put my name on the. It's okay, no, no problem. All right. We don't require your name. Just answer this, so that I know the stats that everybody is following. Okay, I got just seven, seven people answer this question. Eight people, nine. Where are the others? Okay, amazing. Okay, got the point here. Okay. Here we go. The answer is so you guys confused majority did the right answer answer a but i am seeing some of you guys also click which is not right so here we go we need to find our total profit total profit is equal to total revenue minus total cost right what is the total revenue so they have produced 300 units right price the quantity into per unit cost they have the average cost quantity multiplied by average total cost so 275 multiplied by 300 minus 300 units multiply by uh sorry so it's uh, 275 times 95 not 300 what is the market price right now? okay sorry market price is 95 my bad and they sold 275 right? yes yes you are right you are right you are right let me just clear this Mm 
why I cannot edit it again. So Again, that problem. I think I would be using. Okay. Now, so we produce 300 units, but 275 were sold. The average cost of the production was 100 and the selling price was 95. We know that profit is equal to total revenue minus total cost. So how much is the total revenue? 95 multiplied by the quantity sold, 275. Quantity sold, 275. Multi, oh, sorry, total cost would be on producing 300 units. Hundred, right? So what is the answer here? Of course, the loss would be greater minus would be greater than the positive side. So answer would be A, it can never be B, it can never be C. You can also have a guess idea from here that their cost is 100 and their selling price is 95. So they would be having a loss, right? Okay, let's move forward. Costs, there are different kinds of costs. So in economics, we consider cost as total opportunity cost. Here we go. So we consider cost as total opportunity cost. So first of all, let's segregate the cost Sorry. Okay. Cost number one is explicit cost. Number two is implicit cost. Explicit cost means the cost that we can express in simple words. For example, the you know payments to the workers or payment to the sugar, payment to the uh, paying for floors, 